100 most common idioms in English A storm in a teacup This means being upset or annoyed about something that is not at all important. Her anger was unreasonable, a storm in a teacup. Don't judge a book by its cover. This means to not judge something by its initial appearance. He might look small and weak, but don't judge a book by its cover. He is actually a very powerful man. By the skin of your teeth. This means just barely making it. We manage to submit our work on time by the skin of our teeth. Up in the air. This means a situation or plan is still unresolved. Everything was up in the air last time I spoke to him about moving house. Biting off more than you can chew. This means trying to do too much of something or more than you are capable of. Why would you accept both jobs? You are clearly biting off more than you can chew. Costs an arm and a leg. This means something is very expensive. This sofa cost me an arm and a leg. Cutting corners. This means not completing a task correctly so you can save time or money. The accountant was fired for cutting corners. Giving the benefit of the doubt. This means believing someone even though you're not sure they are telling the truth. I don't believe she is innocent, but I will give her the benefit of the doubt. Devil's Advocate. This is when someone puts forth an unpopular opinion or offers an alternative point of view. The students were encouraged to play devil's advocate so the discussion would be more interesting. Feeling under the weather. This means feeling sick or unwell. I had leftover prawns for lunch today and now I'm feeling a bit under the weather. You can say that again. This is used to show that you agree with someone. This place really smells. You can say that again. To sit on the fence. This means to avoid making a decision or choice. I am sitting on the fence. I can't choose between living in a house or a flat. To sit tight. This means remaining firmly in one place, i.e. not taking action or changing one's mind. The economy is really suffering right now. We advise that you sit tight and not make any hasty investments. Piece of cake. This is used to show when something is easy to complete. Your final exams will not be a piece of cake. You will need to study hard. The elephant in the room. This is used to refer to an obvious problem that people are trying to avoid. 
Is anyone going to address the elephant in the room? To twist someone's arm. This is used when convincing someone to do something you want. I didn't want to go to that party, but Leah twisted my arm. Something rings a bell. This is used when you hear of something familiar. I don't know the meaning, but the word rings a bell. To smell a rat. This is used when you suspect trickery or deception. When she made that offer, I smelt a rat. It just seemed too good to be true. Someone's heart is in the right place. This means having good intentions. His mum is so strict, but her heart is in the right place. Pulling someone's leg. This means to joke with someone. I was just pulling your leg when I said you were in trouble. A blessing in disguise. This means a good thing that seemed bad at first. Getting fired from that job was a blessing in disguise. Speak of the devil. This is used when someone appears just after being mentioned. Gary is getting on my nerves. Speak of the devil, he's just sent me a text message. Someone's jaw drops. This is when someone is very surprised. My jaw dropped when I saw her in that red dress. Someone's true colours. This refers to the kind of person someone really is rather than what they appear to be. I thought he was lovely, but then he was disrespectful towards my parents and he showed his true colours. Get your act together. This means to organise yourself so you can do things in an effective way. You've been so disorganised this week, you really need to get your act together. Shed light on something. This means clarifying or revealing information about something. Please could you shed some light on the dispute between you and Frank? Spill the beans. This means to give away a secret. Come on, spill the beans. How did you meet her? Actions speak louder than words. This means that what someone does means more than what they say they will do. She keeps promising me that she will change and, well, actions speak louder than words. Enjoy the best of both worlds. This means to enjoy the advantages of two different things. I'm living in the city for work, but my family home is in the countryside, so I can enjoy the best of both worlds. A picture is worth 1,000 words. This means a picture can tell a story better than written words can. I would prefer if you drew out a map with directions. A picture is worth a thousand words. Barking up the wrong tree. 
This means you have completely misunderstood something. The teacher was barking up the wrong tree by trying to find the bullies. They had all run away. The best thing since sliced bread. This refers to a new invention that is great. This table is the best thing since sliced bread. Beat around the bush. This is when you avoid something because it is uncomfortable. Stop beating around the bush. Why can't you just tell me how you feel? To stick to one's guns. This means you refuse to change your opinion about something. Your manager is being really unfair. You need to stick to your guns and not do anything he says. Break a leg. This is used when wishing someone good luck. You're going to ace that interview. Break a leg. Fit as a fiddle. This refers to excellent health. My granddad is 93 years old, but he is as fit as a fiddle. To get something out of your system. This means getting rid of a negative feeling or anxiety. I cried all night. I just needed to get it out of my system. He or she is off their rocker. This means acting crazy or not thinking rationally. If you think I'm going to work 60 hours, you are off your rocker. The early bird gets the worm. This means that people that arrive first have the best chance of success. I'm planning on going to the sales event at 5am. The early bird gets the worm. Time is money. This means that time is valuable, so you should try to do things quickly. My mum always reminded me that time is money, so now I always make sure I'm doing something with my time. You can't have your cake and eat it too. This means you can't have everything. You need to choose whether you want the job or keep your weekends. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Take something with a pinch or grain of salt. This means to not interpret something literally or take it too seriously. You should really take anything my mum says with a pinch of salt. Burning bridges. This refers to damaging a relationship to a point where it is difficult to repair. He has already burned his bridges with his previous manager by swearing at her. The ball is in your court. This means you make the decision or make the next move. I've done all I can to help you. The ball is in your court. Throw caution to the wind. This means to take a risk. You should throw caution to the wind and hand in your resignation. Break the ice. This means making new people feel relaxed and comfortable by letting them get to know each other. Right guys, we are going to play an exciting game to help us break the ice. 
put all your eggs in one basket. This means depending on a single person or plan for success. I think you should be careful with the decision you are making. You shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket. A snowball effect. This refers to a situation in which something increases in size or importance at a faster and faster rate. I ignored my debt for a long time. Now I am experiencing a snowball effect that could crush me financially. Cut somebody some slack. This means to treat someone in a less harsh or critical way. I'm doing the best I can. Cut me some slack. Bite the bullet. This refers to making the decision to do something difficult or unpleasant that you have been putting off for a while. Lisa has to learn to bite the bullet and face her fear of spiders. Get out of hand. When something becomes difficult to control. The behaviour of these students is getting out of hand. We need to do something. Good things come to those who wait. This means to be patient. I know your situation is difficult right now, but good things come to those who wait. Every cloud has a silver lining. This means that every difficult or negative situation has a positive aspect. Every cloud has a silver lining. After getting divorced, I found my dream husband. Get a taste of your own medicine. This means getting treated the way you have been treating other people. Now you can see how it feels to be made fun of. You are getting a taste of your own medicine. To call it a day. This means to stop what you are doing because you feel that you have done enough. I'm tired. I'm going to call it a day. Wrap your head around something. This means to understand something that is complicated. I just can't wrap my head around the fact that you would pay £300 for a bag. Give someone the cold shoulder. Ignoring someone. I wonder why Ben is giving me the cold shoulder. I haven't done anything to him. Stealing someone's thunder. Taking credit for someone else's achievements. Emma took credit for the work I did. She always steals my thunder. On the ball. This is used to refer to someone that is doing a great job. She really is on the ball. She has managed to buy and sell so many items. In a nutshell. This means in the fewest possible words. So, in a nutshell, the situation was really bad. The last straw. A difficulty or annoyance that makes a situation unbearable. Being told off was bad enough, but getting fired was the last straw. Adding insult to injury. This means to make a situation even worse. 
Making our employees work longer hours has been difficult, but cutting their wages just adds insult to injury. Beating a dead horse. This means putting time and effort into something that will have no outcome. He keeps trying to enter the singing competition, but I think he is beating a dead horse. Hang in there. This is another way of telling someone to not give up. I know your situation is difficult, but hang in there and it'll get better. Keep your chin up. Trying to stay positive. I know it's difficult losing a job, but keep your chin up. There'll be plenty more opportunities. Hit the nail on the head. Finding the exact right answer. She hit the nail on the head when she said the issue was our strategy. Let the cat out of the bag. Revealing or sharing a secret. Molly let the cat out of the bag about my surprise birthday party. Ignorance is bliss. Not knowing about an unpleasant situation means that you won't be bothered by it. I really don't want to hear about what they have to say. Ignorance is bliss. It's not rocket science. This is used to say that something is not difficult. Why do you keep getting the answer wrong? It's not rocket science. There are plenty more fish in the sea. This means there are many more opportunities. Don't worry about losing her. There are plenty more fish in the sea. Jump on the bandwagon. This means joining a trend or activity that has become popular. I finally jumped on the bandwagon and downloaded TikTok. Out of someone's league. Referring to something that is too good or expensive to have. I really think she is out of your league, but good luck anyway. Kill two birds with one stone. This means getting two things done with one action. We could kill two birds with one stone by cycling to work. It'll save us money and we'll be getting exercise. There's a method to someone's madness. This means something seems crazy but there's actually a purpose to it. My desk seems messy, but there's a method to my madness. Let someone off the hook. This means allowing someone who has been caught doing something wrong to go without being punished. They really shouldn't have let him off the hook so easily. He caused so much trouble. Make a long story short. Reducing the length of a story by providing basic facts and information. To make a long story short, I had to take a taxi because of all the issues I faced. Going on a wild goose chase. Doing something that is pointless. Miscommunication resulted in the firefighters to be sent on a wild goose chase. They did not get to the fire in time. 
see eye to eye. This means to agree with someone. My sister and I really struggle to see eye to eye. Rain on someone's parade. Spoiling someone's pleasure. I don't want to rain on your parade, but I have some bad news. Off the top of one's head. Not thinking about something clearly and just relying on memory. Off the top of my head, I think we return to school on the 3rd of September. Not one's cup of tea. This means not liking or being interested in something. Classical music isn't really my cup of tea. To rock the boat. This means saying or doing something that could cause a problem. We're doing really well as a team now, so let's not rock the boat. On thin ice. This means being in a risky situation. You're on thin ice after your behaviour at last night's event. There's no such thing as a free lunch. This means nothing is completely free. I get to travel with my job, but the downside is I get travel sick. Well, there's no such thing as a free lunch. To play something by ear. This means doing something without planning or preparation. I'm not sure how he will react to the business plan, so we'll just have to play it by ear and hope for the best. Pull yourself together. This means to regain control of your emotions. You've been unemployed for three years. You've got to pull yourself together. Through thick and thin. This means under all circumstances, no matter how hard they are. Thank you for sticking with me through thick and thin. To save something for a rainy day. This means saving money for when you need it. Charlie, don't you think it'll be a good idea to save your pocket money for a rainy day? You live and you learn. This means you learn from mistakes. I know I reacted badly in that situation, but you live and you learn. Hit the sack. This means to go to sleep. I need to be up early for work tomorrow, so I'm going to hit the sack. Easy does it. This means to slow down or calm down. Easy does it, Tom. We'll make sure you receive your money. Don't cry over spilt milk. This means there's no point in complaining about something that cannot be fixed. It's no use crying over spilt milk. We've lost all the money now. Have your head in the clouds. This refers to when someone is not concentrating. She is not right for this job. She has her head in the clouds. Leave no stone unturned. This means to try every possible action in order to achieve something. She said she will leave no stone unturned to prove her innocence. 
like two peas in a pod. This refers to when something or someone is very similar or close. Sally and Mona are identical. They are like two peas in a pod. On cloud nine. Being extremely happy. I was on cloud nine once I had submitted my assignment. Weather the storm. This means to survive difficulties. Tommy lost his job, but somehow his family weathered the storm. Get wind of something. This means to hear information that is supposed to be a secret. I don't want my manager to get wind of the fact that I'm looking for a new job. Calm before the storm. This means that the situation is calm right now, but something bad is coming. This is just the calm before the storm. When all of our cousins arrive, this house will be chaos. Cut the mustard. Do a good job. I didn't cut the mustard as a singer.